Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how, how quickly you can do drain fill your 8HP F30 or any other with 8HP transmission ASP dynamics. We have drain plug, we have fill plug. I'm just finishing it up. There is some numbers, see if it matches yours or not. And that's it. Let's jump in to the fun stuff. So this is what came out uh, from this F30 2015. Three quarts, I was using this container as my measuring. Right there, you know what I mean? I, I got to the later mark and three quarts there. And this is how much it's there. So basically it's safe for me to say four quarts I drain. Why do I say four quarts? I need to add that. Well, you have some, uh, residual fluid that coats the pan. See right there? How much you think is there? Two, four ounces maybe? I don't know. So you add that maybe more, maybe six ounces, you know what I mean? Because it does takes, it's not a couple spoons of oil there. That residual, you know, the, the coat, I call, I call the coat the pan. You know, you gotta coat, you gotta apply some oil, you know what I mean? Oil is there while you're draining. So for me to save, I drained four uh, quarts, uh, probably a little bit less to say, but I will add I will add four quarts as a minimum because I'm just doing drain and fill. And then once the weather warms up, because it's better to have at least half the fluid clean than no fluid and dirty fluid. The oil, the fluid, the ATF, you know, they call it for life, but what is the warranty for life? You know, that's just a nonsense. It's like, well, for some reason, many people believe that, you know, for life means you don't have to change it. But what is the warranty for life? Oh, they will not give you the warranty for life. So it's not for life. So it's just a false information. So what are we going to do? We're going to break some rules. People say it shouldn't be using. There's a label on the transmission. I'll show you how you, know, you have to use BMW transmission. Well, well I'm not going to pay two times, three times more for their ATF. That is not, that it's only good for 20, 40,000. How do I know it's good for 20, 40,000? Well, subscribe, I'm going to share with you some details. They're this year or the beginning of next year. Well, let's see. Is it comparable with BMW? Oh, yeah, it is comparable. So why should I be afraid to use this if in, in 8 HP F30 BMW? I should not be. So I'm going to put four, like I said, some of the residual will make it up and pump. There will be some in the hoses some in the pump this is the setup i already rinse it you know what i mean uh, you pressurize it you know with this and uh here we go nice very nice pump i think the oil pan is kind of level or this side where the plug i'm gonna put a new new, new drain plug Torque to the specs is higher because the car is lifted. Since I'm doing just drain fill, I'm not gonna be running. I'm gonna put exactly what came out because I know this was not, it is original, some of the fluid evaporators. So we're gonna put back about four quarts. We're gonna try to put four quarts without running the engine. First, we're gonna add two quarts, fill it up, and then put more two quarts and see how far we can add without starting the engine. But if we have to start, we're gonna start. That's not a problem at all. So now uh, let's put the plug back and let me show you some more details. Car is on those ramps up front, wooden ramps. I'm using the jacks to lift it more. So what I'm gonna do once I install the plug, since it's not dripping anymore, I'm gonna raise the side so the car is gonna tilt it that way so we can see how much fluid we can fit without starting the engine because watching all other videos i didn't watch every single one but my, with the ones that that i was able to watch did not tell you exactly how much they put in before they starting the engine so at least you're gonna know i'm gonna know and if we can put without starting the engine well that's an easy drain and fill every couple of years and you know now you have a, a world record bmw to drive or 8 hp transmission to drive so after putting three quarts right there empty all three quarts are empty 
So all three quarters are empty, I have one more quart to go into this container, into this pump. So how much fluid we have? So we got about maybe, maybe 16 ounces, maybe, I don't know, half a quart, maybe, maybe less, it's hard to tell. I think somewhere between half a quart, maybe one quart of a quart left. So, if someone says you can actually get all in without starting the engine, well, they are incorrect. You cannot. So you have to start. So we're going to add one more quart. And unless there is an option, unless you get the whole entire rear end up to the point, you know, three feet up in the air, maybe, maybe, which is, I doubt, because the fluid now drained from the cooler lines, or, you know what I mean, from everywhere. So you have to start the car, get it circulated, so you can actually add more fluid. It's just, I don't see how it's possible to, by jacking up one end and be able to add everything you, you came up. It's just not possible. Keep in mind, my car set overnight, so more fluid drain. Maybe if you do it instantly, maybe, I don't know, you know what I mean? I basically, until it stopped draining, you know, it stopped dripping, that's where I put the plug back in. So, so that's the, that's the, that's how my fluid change on F20 went. So, we added the fluid while the engine was running. Now we're torquing it. Yes, you can get a torque wrench there, there is a room. 26 foot pounds we got it you know e torque actually works I'm gonna wipe everything clean plug drain plug I, I did not use brand new plug so what I did is replace the wiring put it back and it's all good now I'm gonna wipe it clean put everything back check a couple days or so you know or even today see if any leaks develop or anything you know what I mean if I have to drain so basically four quarts is what it, what it takes so and there is that statement scary statement you owe only BMW fluid warning yeah that's a nonsense it's only for those that don't know anything about our transmission fluids so well thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more detailed video because we're gonna do with the temperature we're gonna verify in the spring. Thanks.